it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below delivers there's a lack of forward movement here okay you're clearly dealing with someone who's probably very in and out in and out of your life someone who's very insincere not very genuine or this could also be someone you know who really who you've had a fallout with okay and this person is uh, very inconsistent is what i say all right uh, could have too many false starts with this person but again i'm not saying that you're not in love with this person there is love all right you guys have had a fallout you guys have break broken up separated but again i'm feeling that this person that you're dealing with is not taking the action towards you that is needed okay that's what the problem is doing really. they come in they get what they want and they leave or this is just someone who's giving you constant emotional dates all right and trying to keep you within the connection but again if you're dealing with someone definitely who's non-committal all right so that's why i see the overall energy in the past, we had the star. So yeah, there could have been a wish that came true. Could be a reconciliation, or uh, this could just be something. You know, maybe probably this person genuinely came in, or after a breakup, separation, something was a wish fulfillment, or you were just going through a uh, going through a phase of healing. Could be both of you, okay? But something was very fated and destined, or this was a very fated and divine con connection. In the present, coming into the current situation, we have the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? So I don't think Pisces, you're crying over spilled milk anymore, okay? There could be a lot of disappointment that you had around this situation, around this love, around this person. You could have been moping for this person for a very long time, okay? Or could have been focused, you could have focused all your energy on the past, okay? Focused on what didn't happen with this person rather than what can happen. Or you were just constantly, you know, in that very negative low vibrational stage. But I think what you now realize is that either all is not lost and probably you still want to rework this connection or you're just wanting to move forward, move on and just forget what happened in the past, like let bygones be bygones. In the near future, we have the home material, okay? So there's someone here who's going to ghost you or you're going to ghost this person. But I do see someone who's going to do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, self-introspection in the near future about this relationship. I'm getting someone who's going to need a lot of alone time to do a lot of research on what is exactly going on and what they really want from this relationship. How you see yourself as the two of cups in reverse, okay? So yeah, you're feeling this breakup, you're feeling this separation, okay? You guys do have a lot of love for each other, but there is a situation here where you guys are still not seeing eye to eye, and that's all because of the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? This is someone very, very immature, someone whose energies are all over the place. I'd go as far as saying this person doesn't even know what they want, okay? Yes, they love you, yes, you love them, yes, you both are on the same page when it comes to the emotional um, fulfillment probably but I think when it comes to something committed right that's when this person keeps backing up that's what I'm getting in your environment Pisces you have the emperor someone's coming in someone's coming in to take control of the situation okay there's someone who's bossing up definitely bossing up or someone who's trying to take control of the situation this is someone who's wanting commitment with the emperor here okay so I guess this knight of wands is finally the Knight of Wands and Rose, I'm getting this is someone who's going to take a break in the near future, already has ghosted you, okay? And I think they're going to come in because that's what's in your environment, what you don't see coming. That's someone who's at least wanting to come towards you and take control of the situation, okay? You see how this hermit is throwing light on the Emperor, right? I think this is what they're, they're trying to get a lot of answers about what they want, what they don't want, how they should go about with you if they really want something serious with you, okay? Because you could have shut the door to the, on this person's face or you could have just completely been fed up of this person, okay? Because of their inconsistency. Your problem is that you're feeling this breakup even more because you feel a lack of contentment, okay? You're emotionally not satisfied, emotionally not fulfilled, again. Four of Cups, someone who's giving you, emo who's emotionally breadcrumbing you and it's just not the entire package. Again, like I said, right? In and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, they give you a little bit every single time to keep you within the relationship or keep you, uh, you know, they, they, they string you along, okay? And it's something that you don't really want. You're wanting something more solid. Regardless in the near future, that's the outcome we have the Knight of Cups. So yes, I do see them opening up. I do see them coming towards you. Could be a new person, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling this as this emperor who's coming in finally, who was very, uh, who was probably suppressing their emotions in the past, okay? Or someone who was um, uh, not really the best at um, opening up emotionally or someone who didn't want to be tied down to. I think this person is finally after this break, right? That they take from you in the near future, they're going to come out 
uh, enlightened to the fact that they need to take control of the situation before you completely let them go and they're coming in to emotionally open up. Okay, this is someone who's wanting into offer your commitment. Knight of Cups is commitment, okay? This is someone who's finally ready to open up and wanting to be emotionally vulnerable. That's a love offer, by the way. So let's see, okay? Could be a new person. I'm not getting that so much, but we'll see. All right, why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here as the overall energy for Pisces? See? Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, because there are too many false starts with this person, okay? You constantly, in and out, in and out. Every single time this person comes into your life, you feel, okay, now it's going to be that brand new beginning. Now it's going to be like a clean slate. Now things are genuinely going to move forward and it's not going to be fun without commitment or it's not going to be that um, unreliable energy. But every single time you give this person a chance and that's just, it just, it's a situation that just gets nowhere, okay? Wheel of Fortune. There's someone who's coming in, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here. Or you could genuinely want to get the ball rolling with this person. Or this is just someone who wants to move things forward with you. And they're ready to put in the work, okay. What is the Knight of Wands in reverse? Give me one more card, please. See star. They see you as a star. You have to start twice here. They do see you as a star. They see you as a wish fulfillment. They see this as something very destined and fated, okay. They see this as a connection that was... Um, meant to be okay it's just that that inconsistency put you in a spot where you didn't know where you were standing in a relationship with this person okay but I think they're coming in they're coming in the luck is going luck is on your side the wheel is going to start spinning in your favor it's going to be your wish again Pisces it's going to be up to you whether you want to hop on or not okay because yeah your wish is coming true or someone this is someone who's even putting to you on putting you on a pedestal what is the star here in the past? Why is the star here in the past for Pisces? Yeah, see, there was a wish. Girl. I mean, this is literally like someone probably came in and wanted to take a leap of faith with you, with a fool here in the past. And it was a wish come true for you or whatever. What is the star? Give me the one more after the star. Five of Cups, after there was a point of disappointment, okay? So I'm getting that after a point of disappointment, there was someone who came in towards you and they wanted to take a risk with you and they came in. But again, it could have turned out to be a disappointing situation or after that trying was built, not right? Someone was finally ready to move on and move forward because there was someone here in the past year who just was too invested into this relationship. They couldn't move on or you couldn't move on or you both couldn't move on, okay? Or someone, I'm getting just return back to you. They tried to move on, but they couldn't, okay? So someone came back and wanted to take a risk and a leap of faith with you. And this was someone who was probably with a pipe of cups more missing. I think this person really, really regretted, a lot of remorse regret about whatever happened in the past. But yeah, there was a reconciliation in the past, I'm getting. Okay, why is the five of cups in reverse in the current situation? Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I think there's a lack of communication here. You know what I'm getting? That you've given this person so many chances, right? Now it's almost like you're not feeling it, is what I'm getting, okay? There's a lack of that spark. You don't, you, you don't have that mojo, you know? You don't have that um, that um, motivation, that inspiration to get back this person or even to want this person back, okay? I think you're very focused on your work or you're wanting commitment. You want something stable and that's something that this person isn't being able to offer you. What is the five of cups in reverse? Clap at the five of cups in reverse. Give me one more card, please. And that's making you confused. That's keeping you in your head. The problem here with this person is that you're dealing with someone very immature. I saw the queen of pentacles twice. And that's exactly the kind of person you're dealing with. You are the mature person here, Pisces, whether you be a, a, a male or a female. You're someone who wants stability. You're very mature. Uh, you know what you want. You know your worth. You realize your value. You're dealing with Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Page of Wands. You're dealing with pages and knights here. And that's something that's not what you're looking at. And every single time this person comes in, right there, either this person just says some rubbish to you or this person just comes in and it just literally, um, you know, this, you could be dealing with someone who's very... Uh, again, someone who's not ready to step up the game, seriously. So ready, not ready to step up the game and that's in turn keeping you in this state of mind, keeping you trapped, stuck and tied and bound to this situation or this person, okay? Because 
they don't talk they're very inconsistent again communication could be a big issue between you guys okay or even the way they communicate probably they talk one day and then they disappear for like one week and then again they're back and again you're like oh damn you're back right and then again they say something nice give you that emotional day and again they leave okay so that's something that's keeping you trapped in your head it's keeping you stuck but Pisces you're only as stuck as you think you it is okay you can get rid of this cycle not same person relax you can get rid of the cycle here, okay? But it's you. You're the only one who can do this, okay? So, what is the hermit in the near future? Why is the hermit here? Yeah, see? There's someone who's going to do a lot of thinking, okay? And uh, it's, it's again, almost like something. And I'm getting that there's someone here who's going to come towards you. And whatever this person's going to do, it's going to be a wish fulfillment in the near future with the Nine of Cups. What is the hermit? I'm getting someone who's completely doing that, I, you know, ghosting you. See, that, that's exactly what I said. Justice. Nine of Cups and Justice here. I'm getting a wish fulfillment, which is going to restore a lot of balance in your situation. The Justice is also commitment, by the way. This is this could be a legal marriage. This could be a legal contract, whatever, right? But if not, then Justice definitely means commitment. It means something that you deserve, okay? And it's in the upright. So it's like whatever you've done till now, right? Whatever investment you've done till now, it's all coming back to you. That's good, Pisces. And that's going to be after this period of break, after the hermit mode. So I don't know where you are in your storyline, but it's going to be up to you. What is the two of cups in reverse? This is how you see yourself. Yeah, see? See, this is exactly what I'm saying. Again, the Knight of Wands in reverse. I can't stress enough. You're definitely dealing with... I don't like to say player. Yes, the Knight of Wands does have a bad rep. Agreed. But it doesn't always have to be a player, okay? Because I don't see player tendencies, okay? I just see someone non-committal, yes. But just because someone's not committal doesn't mean that person's a player, right? It just means that that person does, does not want to lose their independence, all right? So, yeah, again, now you've stopped stressing about the spices. That's what I'm getting with the two of cups in reverse. I'm almost getting like this breakup, this separation. It's probably happened so many times with this person. You've gone in circles with this person so many times that it's just stopped affecting you. You're not making this separation or this breakup a priority anymore. I don't want to say it again, but yeah. What is this two of cups in reverse? Okay, right. Two of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Two of Cups. Yeah, you love this person. Agree. I said that before too, okay? There is a lot of love here, right? But you know what I'm getting, Pisces? Like I said before, there is a lot of love here. You want this relationship and the love is mutual. Totally understandable. But I think what you're doing is right now is you're not wanting to stress about it. I'm getting almost like you want to let go. You could be doing a lot of positive affirmations. You could be making yourself a priority right now, okay? You could be wanting to focus on your work, your career, your goals. But again, I'm getting Pisces for you. What is meant for me won't pass me by. That's something that you could be telling yourself. But that's the kind of attitude or energy that you're throwing out here, okay? Because see, it's clear that, very, very clear that there has been a separation breakup. But again, at the same time, there is a lot of love here, okay? You guys may not be talking. You guys may be in no communication, no contact, whatever. But the love is still there. But whatever it is, from your side, you're not stressing about it because you're so used to this, right? It's like you almost have, like, have like that, th those rubber bands, right? That elastic ones, the ones you, every time you keep stretching it, right? The elasticity becomes less and lesser, right? And then one day, either it just breaks completely or it just loses its elasticity, right? And which makes it of no use. That's exactly what this person has done to you, I'm getting. Every single time they came in, and they made you so used to it now that then, now the separation or breakup, it's not really a separation or breakup for you. For you, I'm almost getting like it's like a pause because you know they're coming back because you know they love you, right? Yeah. What is the emperor? What is the emperor in the environment? What is the emperor here in the environment that Pisces doesn't see coming? Who is this emperor? Ten of cups in reverse. They're not happy without you. The Knight of Wands in reverse just won't go from the bottom of the deck. What the hell? Let me shuffle once. This person, whoever's coming in to take control, this is someone who's A. Either this person has a lot of family conflicts going on, either this person is trying to fight for you, whatever, right? But this person clearly is, could be someone, okay? With the Ten of Cups in reverse, you're someone who's, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting some different scenarios and I'm going to say it out. Just tell me what I'm doing. Either this is someone who's coming in towards you who's already in a marriage or a long-term commitment. They're ending that commitment and wanting to come to you. B, 
this could be someone who's emotionally absolutely unfulfilled without you okay their entire the ten of cups is in reverse okay this is once a relationship that made them very very happy and once now that you've gone or now that you don't stress about it anymore it's killing them it's killing them okay and now that that's why they're coming in to take control probably they even see you as someone who's not paying attention to them neglecting them okay because that's what you feel in your emotions with the four of cups you feel neglected you feel like you're not getting the attention the love that you deserve right okay nice shuffle give me one more card to the emperor what is this emperor in pisces environment one card please what is the emperor see Someone's coming in. They want a reconciliation. I told you, Pisces, they're coming in. They're not happy without you at all. At all. They're coming in with this reconciliation for sure. It's killing them. They want to reconcile. And this time, they're ready to boss up. Like I said, right? Wheel of Fortune in your energy with the star here. That shit's getting, coming towards you, okay? They want to get the ball rolling. I'm almost getting there. Do what it takes to get you back, right? But... If you want to hop on, yes or no, could even be coming in towards you with a commitment. What is Four of Cups? Why is this in Pisces' emotions? Why is this in Pisces' emotions? What is the Four of Cups? Three of Wands. You could have been fed up and tired of waiting and waiting and waiting for this person, okay? You could have probably given this person a lot of chances, like I said that before also, okay? You could have literally manifested this person, okay? Using the law of attraction. I'm sorry, that hair is sticking out. It's so annoying. You could have literally used the law of attraction. You could have been doing, again, affirmations. You could have been trying uh, a lot of uh, manifestation methods for this person to come in, patiently waiting, do your own thing, right? But I think every single time they come in, right? They do come in. I'm not saying they don't. They do come in. But I'm getting... They, they keep offering you these empty cups and that's something that you're not happy about. You want this. You want this cup. And this is what they're offering you. Again, this is emotional dissatisfaction. <laughs> Being bored emotional discontentment etc okay you could have waited for a very long time for this person to you know come in to sponsor yeah. what is the four of cups one more card for the four of cups what is this four of cups i'm getting boredom also i see probably you're really bored of whatever this person has to offer you or you're just bored your 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 relationship or your love life okay especially with this person it's reached a point of stagnation you know things don't things don't um tend to <coughs> sorry things don't tend to improve okay it's like it reaches a point and then it again bounces back okay it's like it reaches that point of um um, that, that threshold, you know, it's like you literally want this person to break through that wall and give you what you want. Again, commitment or something solid, something stable, right? But every single time you feel you're reaching that point, right? It bounces back, you know? Hierophant and reverse. See, that's exactly what I said. This is someone, because they're not offering you commitment. This is someone who's commitment phobic and you've waited forever for this person to come in with this cup. And this cup is something to you which means the commitment, okay? Which means something traditional and that's something that they're not doing because you're dealing with someone who's a commitment phobe okay knight of wands and reverse like duh you know what is the knight of cups why is this in the outcome for pisces six of wands in reverse someone's coming in because they feel neglected they feel like they're not getting your attention this could be someone who could be an attention seeker okay an attention seeking whore i'm getting or doesn't have to be but someone you know what who likes the attention and um, maybe you, you've put them on a pedestal, you've, you've always put them, you know, before you, you've always made them a priority and now that you're not doing it, right, they're ready to come in towards you. What is the Knight of Cups? Eight of Wands in reverse, but things are not going to be moving as fast. I don't think, I, I, I'm getting you're the one who's going to be a little slow moving when it comes to <coughs> I'm getting that you're buying time 
or this could also be someone you know who's not moving forward because they were buying time i'm getting a lot of stories six of wands in reverse and then eight of wands in reverse okay this is a lot of stop stop you know like wait let's take it slow let me buy time okay this could be someone who literally has uh, stalled the progress, okay? They know they can make it happen, but either they're feeling neglected, like I said, or this person just uh, does not have enough confidence to make things happen. A lot of self-doubt also is what I'm getting, okay? That's the kind of person who you were dealing with. They're coming in though. They're coming in though, okay? Slow, maybe the process is not going to be as fast as you expected it to, okay? It's going to be very slow moving, okay? Could be uh, a little on and off. But yeah, they're coming in. They're still coming in towards you with opening up emotionally and giving you that offer, love offer, okay? So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you. Uh, leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.